in our last video, we insert a snake cell into this snake array. So now how can we display it here, right? So we'll use uh, maybe lowercase o for our snake. Let's see. Yeah, 3, 1 here. Column 3 and row 1. How can we do that? Hmm. <laughs> So the planned strategy is let's create a helper method function here in our game engine here, snakeboard. Let's create a function which will answer this question. Is a location, a point, right? Represented by column, comma, row. Is that point part of the snake one of the snake cells okay so funk is is on snake okay is that point on snake so here we are provide the location, right? Column row. So answer, yes or no, Boolean, this one. So let's return a force to silence the compiler. Okay, how do we implement that? We'll loop through, right? We'll loop through each element of this array to check its location, whether its location matches the this this pair of coordinates, right? So for loop. So this time we use a different form of for loop. So previously we use from right for an index i in zero dot dot less than something, right? So this time we use cell, okay, in snake. So it means this one will represent right each of the element, each of the elements of the snake. Now we can use if check right if cell dot row is same as the colon yeah colon and cell dot row matches matches the information provided by the right argument or pra uh, parameter parameters. If that, we can return yes, right? True. So it means this cell, we can stop. We can stop checking, right? Because we are already able to answer this question, is on snake? Yes, it's on. So if after the for loop, there's still uh, there's no cell, right, found matching this location, then we can return false. Okay, so with that, with that function ready, it's easy to implement here. So the, originally we print out, right, every in every location, we just print out a dot. So now we can add the logic here. If it's on snake, we'll print out a, a, a lowercase o. Otherwise, we just use the original um, dot to represent the empty um, place. So if is on snake, 
yeah this colon and the row then we'll just uh, append a different thing right space o else we should do this right cut paste remove this now let's give you a test run it here oh it works let's add more snake cells right to test so snake cell since we can this one represent a snake cell so we can just use this guy in the place of that so we don't need this one right mm -hmm. they are same thing and it, it's used just one so we can save one line of code now we can duplicate this one to add let's create a snake like like from here to here and then to he this one okay so the first one will be two one two one yeah three one then the next one will be three two okay now three two four two and five two that's our plan four two and five two five two all right let's see yes it works as expected now we have our snake printed out um can we show this on the app here right here is it still empty let's put our um snake on the board here so we needed to go back to board board view yes um we can put some temporary code here so a convenient way to test that is we can copy this right uh, and put it here at the beginning of that and uh, we need to fix the format so control i automate so now draw grid let's add another function to draw function draw snake right we don't need that because we simply draw that so now board dot snake wait a minute if we did that then we have no access to this board because this inside that so we, let's move out this guy this is temp temporary code right for testing so it means we'll remove this one later here is the entry point of the uh, this file so we can do that draw snake let's use a a round round rectangle to represent a snake okay a snake cell so let's do let's draw one of them here um let a cell UI Bazia pass 
let's find out a round rectangle round rectangle here radius cg yeah let's use this one so let's create a rack function enter opening parentheses so we'll use this one so x and y what is the x and the y let's use okay let's draw uh, a round re rectangle first so don't worry about the the actual location let's test this like 70 and the width with we can use the cell side here cell side height cell side so it will be a um, round square corner radius we don't know we have to try it five now that's called it's joke okay let's use a green color for the snake right green snake and uh, so ui color dot green dot set set the field yeah we'll feel that so feel let's give it a try we need to call draw snake now let's run it command r command u is for testing oh <laughs> my god it meets by accident it meets one of our cells it's good uh the only thing let's put it push down a little bit uh to make it i think we need to increase the corner radius let's try eight run it Oh no 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 no! Now it looks a look like a circle. Um, this maybe we can use a brown snake. Five. What about six? Let's try. Much better, much better. Now. We can put it in one of the to fit one of the cells what about the first one here so right we can use origin x and origin y right run it cool so let's take a break now and we'll continue in our next video